welcome to Bandwagon Music Studio. I am Bruce the Gig Farmer here for lesson four on the banjo. As promised, we're going to follow up the box roll with something very similar but a little bit more heavy rhythmically. Remember, if you like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Would love to hear from you. So grab your instrument and jump on the bandwagon. Let's talk about how we're going to do this. We're going to pluck with the thumb on the third string. Then we're going to follow with just the middle and the thumb on the first and fifth strings. See if you can see that. If you're familiar with that, or if you want more of a challenge, you can add your index finger to the second string. And now I'm going to be playing the third string by itself. And I'm going to pinch, that's why they call it a pinch. Pinch, you're bringing your thumb and your fingers together on the fifth and the first and second string. So I'm pinching three strings. It's three followed by five, one, and two played at the same time. Very strong rhythmically because you've got that boom, chock, boom, chock, that bass note is holding things down, and you've got a nice chord that you're playing in between there. So you get the bass kind of beat and you get a nice chord to complement it. Yeah. It's a, another great role or great way to accompany yourself. It's good for backup, it's good for when you're singing because it's repetitive, it, same thing over and over again. It's not as difficult as the forward roll would be when you're trying to sing. Let's try it again, together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> this so many times that you can do it and just sit here talking while you're playing it and have a conversation. Let's try it with the metronome because we all know that the metronome is the way we're going to develop excellent time and every musician needs excellent time. I'm going to set this on 60 beats per minute and for each beat we're going to play either a note or a group of notes. So it's going to sound like this. Here we go. One, two, three, four. As I said in a previous video, practice that for a few minutes till you feel comfortable that you can keep up with the beat and not stray too far from that pulse and then we'll bring it up. Let's go to 80 beats per minute. You may want to just go up to 65 or 70, but for purposes of not drawing out this video too long, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like as we get it going faster. One, two, three, four. Let's go up to a hundred. One, two, one, two, three, four. Once you get that comfortable at a hundred beats per minute, it's time to do a similar thing to what we did in the last video, which was alternate the bass. Recall in the last video we did three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. We finished off by alternating the thumb every four notes. We're going to do the same thing with our pinch now, our boom chuck. Let's try it just without a metronome slowly at first. One, two, three, four. And you can hear 
Uh, that makes it a lot more interesting musically because you're going bum, bum. You're alternating the lower note. I want you to practice going between the pinch and the roll, box roll, that we learned last lesson. If you'd like, you can practice it just with the third string only on the bass. That might be the easiest way to start. When you feel comfortable with that at various speeds, maybe get it up to 100 beats per minute, then try to alternate the bass. Now here's the problem though. If we start off with the eighth note roll, the box roll, we're playing every single click. When we go to the pinch or the boom chuck, we're going to play one note or group of notes for two beats, so it's going to sound like this. Remember that the pinch is a quarter note pulse. The rolls are at an eighth note, so they're twice as fast. Twice as many of those in one measure as there would be the boom chuck. All right, let's take it out finally at 120. A little faster. We'll go 125. At the end there, you noticed I threw in a chord. If you're not sure what that chord is, tune into the next video. We're going to start talking about putting these basic rolls in with some basic chords. In lesson one and two, we talked about the one finger chords, uh, D or D seventh and C. It's time to jump up to the big boy chords or the big girl chords and play two three finger chords. Hope to see you then. Remember, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, Ooh. leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. It's Bruce the Gig Farmer coming to you from Bandwagon Music Studio. Take care. Be safe. We'll see you again soon. Ooh.